Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm having another play with my Shabby Basics Vintage Slide set of dies by Creative Expressions by Sam Poole and you get the two dies so the one that does the slides and then one that does a film strip type of thing um, so th the other week I used the vintage slides and made these there's a video and I'll link that in the description box below if you want to have a look and see how I made um, these slides turned out really well I thought so have a look at the video if you've not already seen that but today I thought we would have a go with this um, yeah so I'll just set that aside for the moment because I have already die cut this is how it dies, it uh, die cuts. Um, I've die cut them all using black cardstock, plain black cardstock. I tried it in diff various different um, things, types of paper and patterned paper and old book pages, but it just doesn't show up for what it's supposed to be with the little squares down the side. It For some reason, it just didn't um, work out so I stuck with the black okay so I've got some little bits here and also um, a little photograph this is from a page from the Tim Holtz paper pad I can't quite remember the name of it at the moment but I'll put it in the description box um, you get, a, it's one of the sheets of paper from the paper pad and you just cut up all the little photographs um, and it's patterned paper on the other side. So it's quite handy for these, they sort of fit. And I thought I would just go ahead and embellish them and just make little collages. It's a great way to use up all the little tiny pieces that you might have. Um, and just play about and place some things. Maybe something like that is what I had in my head. Uh, I still, I don't want to collage too much over the squares at the side because I want to still be able to see that that's a, let me get my old magazine before I glue. I still want to be able to see that that's a film strip. Okay, so the first thing we want to stick down is this little table here. I've just got my all-purpose white glue. And it's near to the edge of the squares. I think if you didn't have the die, you could maybe make a, uh, if you cut out a square and then maybe if you've got a punch or something that's going to cut out tiny sort of circles or squares, you could, uh, you could mock one up, I'm sure. want to slide that underneath that. There we are. A little bit of glue seepage there. <laughs> seepage. Ugh. Why did that word come into my head? That's not a nice word, is it? Seepage. That's one of the words that I don't like. <laughs> Do you have that? Do you have words that you don't like? So really simple, really easy. Um, yeah, so that's that one. I'm calling that one done. Now, I've already made up a few. Let me just move this out of the way. All much the same. A butterfly, a little bit of floral. Now, for this one, it goes out over the edge, but I don't mind so much because I can still see most of the side uh, squares. This one went out over the edge, but I just trimmed it off. 
so that um, it wasn't sticking out too much. And the other thing I thought that you could do with it is you could, let me see, maybe this one and this one, or this one. You could join them up to make one roll, if you like, although it won't, wouldn't be a roll. And then that one under there like that. If you glued them together, that would be a belly band or a side tuck pocket thing. I think that's pretty cool if you joined them up, but we'll leave ours for the moment. So let me just set the ones that we've made there. I've got another one in that style with little tiny pieces of ephemera to use up. And I just thought maybe we would just do that like that. That's a little tiny envelope. <laughs> well, it's not really an envelope, it's a, a photograph of an envelope. <laughs> maybe she's kept that. Maybe it's a photograph, uh, an envelope from a from an old boyfriend that she's hoping to see again. Maybe he's got a picture of her in his wallet. I just always like to overlap things a little bit. This is my collaging way. So how easy was that and how cute is that? So that's another one for the bundle. And then I thought, why stick to in the boundaries of the reel? Let's go out and just use it as a bit of background. So this is a Tim Holtz doll with a mushroom and a little bit of background. And I thought that worked quite well too. So I have another one or two of these to do. And again, really straightforward, just find something that more or less fits into the space in the middle. So a label fits perfectly. And then she's sitting down and we could put that just peeking through a little bit move her to the side which way do we want it I think like that I don't mind a little bit of the wheel getting covered up but I still want to be able to see what it is. That's pretty cute as well, isn't it? A little bit of glue. So I think we'll do one more of this style and then I have a third option to share. So again, a label. If you don't have any labels like that, then any little piece of book page or anything at all, just to give it a little bit of background. And we've got a little floral for this lady. Yep, just slightly sticking out there.
we've got three examples of that type and how many of these? One, two, three, four, five of them. And the final one doesn't have a photograph because maybe you don't have any photographs. So I just thought we would just do a little bit of decoupage, a little cluster. Decorate it up. So just a little piece of patterned card there. Put that down next. Nice to have different shapes in your clusters or your collages. And then a little bit of a floral just across the middle. And I don't mind that quite a lot of the pieces underneath are getting covered up because the whole point is you just see a little peak of things going through little peak so that's one with no photograph and I think that's quite cool as well because you can still see that it's a film reel and I thought I dug out this little quick and easy pocket it's just folded over and stitched round and I thought it might be nice to put this one on here just to show you what can be done with them so really you're just making a decoration or it could be a tuck spot if you didn't glue it all down you could have you could have glue it in two sides and have a have it in the corner or you could just use it for decoration like I did there I maybe put something up the side there. Wonder if we should put something. I've got my little basket of washi here. See, I'm I'm going off piece now. I hadn't planned this, but that space is crying out for a little bit of something. That there and then what have we got? Let's try this. Might be a wee bit too bright. Yeah, that'll do. And then that's a place for you to keep some of your photographs. Ah, yeah, you could keep all those kind in there. No bother. But let's get this stuck in a little journal. So I've got out my grungy journal. And we'll find a place to put this pocket. Let's see. Hmm. Ah. We'll put it here. Oh, so I to cut the top off. Just pop it on the middle there. Perfect. And I think we'll put someone inside. 
maybe this one because if I just left it sticking out a little bit it just echoes the butterfly there the green and maybe with another one what do you think yeah Yes, I'm really quite pleased. Whoops, quite pleased with how that's turned out. Let's get a little bit of glue down there. There we are. Oh, I could fiddle about with things all day. I'm not sure about that butterfly sticking up there. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Oh, that says Delaware. I've been to Delaware when we were on holiday a few years ago. I was at the, let me think, the Delaware Water Gap. The people we were visiting took us there to see it. <laughs> and then it reminds me of a song, What Did Delaware? <laughs> that's an old song. Right. That's me, so I'm going to leave that there. That's nice, and I need to find a home for these chaps and chapesses. <laughs> Keep them in my mass make basket until they find a perfect home. <laughs> right, so thanks for joining me today, and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.